just heart racing fear. We dropped to the floor and didn't really see anything else. A mother and her children forced to hit the floor when bullets start flying through their home. All those shots came after a police chase that ended in their driveway. WBZ's Paul Burton spoke to that mother who says she was terrified. One came in over here and traveled across the room into that wall there. Nancy Davenport says she and her children hit the deck when shots rang out and bullets came flying through her Easton home. And where were you when this happened? We were on the floor. I first I thought the window was shot out, but it was just, it was the plaster from the wall. Easton police say on Sunday they responded to Bay Road after reports of a suspicious person involved in a car crash. As police approached, investigators say the man pointed what appeared to be a gun. That's when police opened fire and bullets went flying, several hitting Nancy's home, one of the bullets hitting a pipe in the wall. Her neighbor's truck also got hit with stray bullets. Nancy says she saw the man approach her house. And then as he got closer to the house, he pulled a, a gun out of his pants waistband. So we basically ducked to the floor and I didn't see much else after that. I just scrambled around trying to lock doors. Police shot the suspect at least once. They immediately treated him, took him to the hospital, and placed him under arrest. It's still unclear if the man fired a gun. I, my biggest fear was that he was coming towards the house and maybe going to try to get inside. Nancy says despite all the chaos, she's not going to let this frightening incident ruin her holidays with her family. However, she is considering extra security measures these days because of this incident. The only thing I might invest in is one of those, you know, video doorbells. The suspect suffered non-life-threatening injuries. Nancy is glad her family was not harmed. Oh, incredibly thankful. Just happy that everybody was okay and we'll deal with the damage. State police are investigating the incident. In Easton, I'm Paul Burton, WBZ News.